welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of this video um, of this Q&A. I mentioned in my last video towards the end when I was doing the outro, like I was going through all the footage and I realized too long. So I'm just doing a quick intro to this video and let's get into part two of this Q&A. Okay. Next question. I hope you guys are enjoying these chit chat get ready with me. FAQs, I like them, because then I can film another video after this. All right, so can you make a video about 36 Bravos? Great concept, by the way, I love your videos. Um, I honestly don't even know what a 36, Bra 36 Bravo is. I don't even know what a 36 series is. I would have to Google it. <laughs> um, yeah, every person in the army like doesn't know every MOS. So I know like different ones, obviously. I, I know different series, but I really, I have no idea what that even is. I'm sorry. Some more spray. Oh, it's so good. All right, next question. Um, do you drive with the clutch shift, clutch and shifter, or are they automatic trucks? Oh no, girl, <laughs> they are automatic. Ain't no way this girl is gonna do a clutch. Everything's all automatic. Nothing manual in our trucks. I'm sure like back in the day they probably had them and I think some marine marine um, trucks are you know man manual but I'm not exactly sure but this girl does not do manual. We'd all be in trouble. I think there'd be a lot more accidents <laughs> if they were. Um, do you work a lot with 88 hotels? Any info about them if you do? And this will be the last question. Actually, I'll answer another question that's like really, really, people ask me a lot, and that will be the last question. But anyway, um, currently that I know of, I don't think my unit has any 88 hotels. I think that's like, I'm not exactly sure what an 88 hotel is. I know they do a lot with like loading trucks and stuff, but honestly, everyone does that. So, yeah. Um, but no, I don't think so. All of us are either 88 mics or... You know, mechanics, maintenance, supply, like all that jazz. So no, sorry girl. I know there's some videos on Google, or not Google, but YouTube that will explain like what they do. Um, but if you go to a unit, more than likely you will probably um, be with a lot of 88 mics, not 88 hotels. I just, I've, I've rarely met 88 hotels, maybe Maybe like towards, I know a unit that, I don't know, even my, my unit patch is like, um, I can't remember exactly, but they um, they do a lot with like, you know, loading trucks and stuff like that, like putting equipment and stuff on trucks, but I'm not, I'm really not too sure. God, I look so dark, I swear to y'all, like something is going on. My face has gotten so dark, but like the rest of my body, like it doesn't match. It doesn't match my body. I don't understand. I guess my arms have gotten a little darker too, but everyone's like, oh my God, you've gotten so dark. I'm like, have I? And like, when I look at myself in the, in the viewfinder, I'm like, oh geez, I really have. And it doesn't seem like it, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with being dark. Like, let me specify that. But I was just like, wow, I got a tan. And I'm not even outside like that anymore, like that much. So I don't know what it's from. It feels like I just came from out in the field in the dead of summer. Hmm. Anyhow. All right, so the last question I'm gonna answer and I'm gonna close out is going to be um, where am I stationed? And I answered this question like along a few videos ago and I think that was like the last Q and A I ever did as far as like army wise. Um, and I will answer like where I was stationed, my first, you know, um, assignment or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I was stationed in Fort Gordon, Georgia. I know I saw tons of people that were stationed there in the military that, um, you know, found my videos and I just didn't want to say because of my safety, like for safety reasons. Um, but there's also a lot of people there that, you know, recognized me and that came up to me and like I met people. Um, but yeah, I was stationed in Fort Gordon, Georgia. That's in Augusta. Um, I liked it. I liked my unit for the most part. I have so many stories to tell you guys when I get out of the army, but I will never say right now. I will never say. But they are 
so juicy. People always look at military people as being like perfect, but they are the most sketchy people. They can be the most sketchy people sometimes. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I was stationed in Fort Gordon, Georgia in a transportation company out there. Loved it, had a great experience, and then I got promoted to sergeant and then into another unit. Um, so, yeah. A lot of people ask me that and I just didn't say because for my safe like for safety reasons um I've had some I was always I'm always like private anyway and I would have never like said anything but just from having incidences just like further further let me know like I was right for just keeping it private as private as I could obviously if people found out it is what it is but you guys would have never heard it out of my mouth um, like I had incidences where people were like, oh, I know where you're stationed, I know where you are, and stuff like that. Like it really creeped me out a little bit. Um, uh, people were Googling me, which is obviously like pretty normal. Like I Google people too, like people that I watch or I have, I don't do it right. <laughs> like I have before, like that's just, I think that's pretty normal, but I'm not going to go out of my way to, you know, tell someone if I don't have to, if you guys look, that's your prop, like that's your, you know, decision. But yeah, I just. People will be like, what's your Facebook, what's your address, or I know where you live. I've had a few instances, and then, like, I don't want to get into it too much. I made a video about it, and it wasn't about that, per se, but it was more of, like, a specific person that was kind of making me feel unsafe a little bit, but for the most part, like, it's fine. But, yeah, I just didn't want to say for safety, and obviously it's OPSEC, so I'm not going to even tell you where I am now. <laughs> Um, so, anyway, that is it. If you guys have any further questions, definitely let me know. Um, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this q and Trying to think of anything else that I missed or forgot that I wanted to answer. Um, I haven't done like a get ready with me army edition in a while if you guys want to see that definitely will do it for you I used to do those a lot you guys enjoyed them also let me know if you guys have been enjoying you know the vlogmas I've been posting every other day and then I'll post like more if I can other than every other day um, but definitely every other day I've been doing and hopefully you guys have been enjoying it I'm trying to put too much makeup on I have a concert to go to later so I wanted to put on a little bit of makeup and I'm filming another video after this the eyebrows good yeah. they're pretty good and then for lips I'm just gonna put on some chapstick y'all know how I do and I'm gonna use my tart I'm like all of a sudden doing a YouTube or a makeup video I'm using the tart in captivating for blush I love this blush Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.